I tried to do an update yesterday, but uh, Taylor and I ran into trouble. I updated the steering column. My, uh, I've got the steering pod is all done. Um, even moved my key, extended it. That fires everything up. Um, tilt column is in. It's done. I've got, let's see if I can do this, it goes from there, this comes out, it goes very high to right down where I need it to go. I tried to do a video yesterday and uh, I updated all this stuff and then Taylor tried to video me driving and he turned the camera over so all of my driving my test drive was upside down and I couldn't figure out how to turn it back over so I had to abandon that video and uh, this is the end result the only thing I was disappointed with and I've already gotten started on this is where this header comes down through here it's hotter than hell on my leg uh, I've got that shroud um, I'm going to extend that shroud out and then a buddy of mine is supposed to be bringing in a heat shield off the bottom of a car that goes on the top of a catalytic converter and he said that thing has good insulating value and it will take the heat from that header and just keep it in the tunnel but uh, I need to start building my tunnel um, I kind of cut it short tonight because I want to go riding Sunday and I needed to put my skid plate back on because I popped it off last week and I needed to fix the return spring on my brakes. So I spent the other probably an hour uh, getting the 650 ready to go riding Sunday. So this is Thursday. I'm going to dive back into this tomorrow, Friday, and hopefully with some help from Taylor I can get at least the top of the console fabricated out of aluminum because I do the aluminum I do the top in aluminum and then I'm gonna do the sides in plastic and I get my um, I don't use Duramat I found something that's cheaper than Duramat it is this stuff right here it is uh, peel and seal aluminum this has insulation and rubber and an aluminum facing on it which keeps the sound deadens the sound and it keeps the heat inside the tunnel I can't just do a fancy flat tunnel on this one like I did the Honda because the Honda tunnel is just absolutely flat and that's the gas tank well, on this one, or on that, the other bike, the Kawasaki, um, I've got to work around. I got to work around this air box. So I'm gonna get the tunnel, get the tunnel started here. Come back to the air box, and then come up in this air box, and just give myself enough of a lip to go down with the plastic sheet on the side and then what I do is is I'll uh, I'll fill in around this with foam rubber because all really all it really does is seal off the air that's traveling through the tunnel the hot air traveling through the tunnel uh, it looks kind of funny now because I got the plastic off the nose and the seats out of it but uh, the steering columns done I've drove it drives just fine uh, my power steering unit hasn't shown up yet so I'm still just manual steering I drove it yesterday with manual steering and yeah it's not that bad with manual power will be nice but we'll see what happens when the power unit shows up and I get my seats and everything in uh, still the last thing I do is this bar that comes around that I rest my elbow on with my seat it's gonna come down 
and go across so that I can step in easy, sit down in the seat, start it, and go. That's my update.